Well, the Twins are taking the field. We're about ready for the first pitch here, and it will be roughly an hour and a half after the scheduled first pitch. Co ace Joe Ryan on the mound, who's been very good this season. Ranks among the American League leaders in a lot of categories. Unfortunately, took the, la the loss his last time out. Only gave up two runs in that outing, but that'll tell you how much the Twins' offense has been struggling as well. Madrigal, Swanson, and Happ in Chicago's first inning. On the ground weekly to Correa. One down. And that'll bring up Swanson. One hop, and Farmer has it. Two quick outs, and that'll bring up Happ. Knocked down, Ryan couldn't find it, thought it was in his glove, and it'll be an infield single. Thought it was in there, he said. Yeah, he, he started to make his way towards first base, anticipating a little flip over there to have a quick one, two, three inning. Doesn't work if you don't have the ball. Cody Bellinger had a great start to his season, former Dodger. And there's strike three. Really good inning for Ryan. Gives up an infield hit. But a pretty quick score on the top of the first. And we take a look at Hayden Wesneski. His fastball at 93. Sweeping slider. Cutter. Nice roll here after a couple of rough ones to start the season. First time that Gallo has let off this year. High fly ball. Holy cow. This one way up in the air. Suzuki waiting for it to come down. And he makes the catch. Alex Kirill off the batter. Hit hard to left field. Half is going back. He's at the wall. First of the year to the opposite field. That uh, sounded good coming off the bat. Gallo hit his close to 110 miles an hour. Just hit it a little too high. This one not located anywhere near where he wanted to. Trying to come up under Kirilov's hands. And he's got carry and strength that very few hitters have. one nothing Twins and now Correa. And Correa down on strikes. Polanco 0 for 4 last night. Switch hitting second baseman. And a swag and a miss. Westeski. Couple of strikeouts. Carroll off a home run the opposite way of the twin strike first out of the second one. Nothing. It'll be up to Eric Hosmer to try to drive in Suzuki, who led off the inning with a double and has stayed at second. Chip shot. And Farmer had a great job by Ryan. Yeah, you like to have one, two, three innings, but did a great job there pitching around the leadoff double, and it's still one nothing. Barnhart and Madrigal have set the table. Let's see if Dansby Swanson and company can drive in a run or two. Two on, nobody out. Twins by one in the third, and the one-two pitch, a fly ball softly center field again. Gordon has to sprint in on his feet. He's there to make the catch. Runners hold, and that's out number one. Another key strikeout. Strike out at a good time for out number two. Deep to right field. And Larnick is there for the catch on the warning track. Another great job by Ryan pitching out of trouble with opening hits from the first two batters in the third. It's still one nothing Twins. So now the Twins have two on, but nobody out. Cubs had this chance in the top half of the inning, and Ryan worked out of it. Let's see if the Twins now can capitalize. Castro at second, Jeffers at first. Here's Gallo. And the pitch a swing, a high fly ball. Right center field and deep. Back it goes. Deep it goes and way out of here. Joey Gallo unloads a third inning three run homer. And the Twins have a 4 nothing lead. Big swing right there. His first home run since April 26th. I've seen balls hit that far and I've seen balls hit that high. I don't think I've ever seen a ball hit that high and that far. Here a lot homer to left field his first time up. One two pitch a fly ball center field that's it well Bellinger going back at the wall that's gone Alex Kirilov two for two and two home runs and now the twins go back to back here at target field it's a five nothing twins lead when he's healthy when he's right it's one of the sweetest swings in the game two down base is empty Dansby Swanson 0 for two here this afternoon now 0 for five got him good finish to his best inning, his first one, two, three inning. His seven strikeout afternoon so far for Joe Ryan. Well, here's a guy who's going to get a nice hand. Alex Kirloff, homer to left, homer to center. To the left field corner. In the ballpark, but another extra base hit. Automatic double. He's got 10 total bases. And we're just in the fifth inning. So two down. Here's Polanco to bat. Long at bat for Polanco. Hit high in the air down the right field line. If it's fair, it's out of here. Way gone as Polanco, a two-run homer, 
Seven nothing Minnesota. Head down a contact. He knew it immediately. That is the best feeling you can have as a hitter. First 40 games and it's been feast or famine for the twins lineup and they are feasting today. Ryan has been very sharp on the mound. Here's a one two swung on a miss got him on a splitter. Bring up Woody Bellinger. Another strikeout for Ryan Bellinger striking out for the second time. Ryan trying to finish the sixth inning here with a flourish. He struck out three batters in a row. Six shutout innings for Joe Ryan. An outstanding outing and a seven nothing Lynch lead. The Cubs put two on first time since the third inning the Cubs had two base runners in the same inning. So now Barnhart. Blair to left that one falling it falls for a hit. Here comes Morrell throw to the plate it is too late. And it's an RBI single to the left for Tucker Barnhart. And the Cubs are on the board. It's 7 1. Rays average down to 188. Carlos 0 for 3 today, two strikeouts, and he's flied out to right. Drive left center field and deep. Back and gone. Correa joins the home run party. Five for the Twins this afternoon at Target Field. He's been finding the barrel a little bit more often. He's been doing a little more. Damage on the pull side with some extra base hits, turning on some balls. It's got to be a good feeling for him to see this. For Correa, his sixth of the year. 19 runs batted in. Now the veteran Eric Hosmer bats 0 for 2 with a walk today, three on, two out in the eighth inning. A little bit high. Oh! And Hosmer has been ejected. David Ross comes out to intercede, and David will probably get tossed out too. And he did. David got tossed. First and second two down. Joey Gallo is now batting. Hit hard to the right field corner. And that'll stay fair. It'll drive in at least one. And Gallo has another extra base hit with a double into the right field corner. Twins now lead nine to one. And that loads him up for Correa. And a pitch ground ball to third off the bag. It's a fair ball. Kicks into left field. One run scores. Heading home. The throw to the plate is missed by the catcher Barnhart. Two run score. Correa's down to second. And it's an 11-1 game. And on a day when they don't need some good luck, they just got some. We'll take every one. <laughs> and it's 11 to 1 as we head to the ninth, guys. Cole Sands is still pitching. Sands is strike away from ending it. Driven to right. And that's the end of it. And after a frustrating loss last night, the Twins respond with a very gratifying win and maybe a glimpse of things to come.